हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रीसेंट न्यूज इवेंट्स इंडिया होस्ट सेकेंड एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टीरियल लेवल मीटिंग ऑफ बिम्स्टेक इंडिया होस्टेड द सेकेंड एग्रीकल्चरल मिनिस्टीरियल लेवल मीटिंग ऑफ द बे ऑफ बंगाल इनिशिएटिव फॉर मल्टी सेक्टोरल टेक्निकल एंड इकोनॉमिक कोऑपरेशन इन न्यू डेली ऑन टेंथ ऑफ नवंबर ट्वेंटी अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर एंड एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ भूटान बांग्लादेश नेपाल म्यांमार श्रीलंका एंड थाईलैंड आल्सो पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द मीटिंग इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल रेपोजिटरी फॉर लाइफ साइंस डाटा रिलीज यूनियन मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह ऑन टेंथ नवंबर 2022 लॉन्च्ड इंडिया फर्स्ट नेशनल रिपोजिटरी फॉर लाइफ साइंस डाटा द इंडियन बायोलॉजिकल डाटा सेंटर एट फरीदाबाद हरियाणा इट हैज स्टोरेज कैपेसिटी ऑफ फोर पेटाबाइट्स एंड हाउसेज द ब्रह्म हाई परफॉर्मेंस कंप्यूटिंग फैसिलिटी पीएम मोदी विजिटेड इंडोनेशिया फ्रॉम द फोर्टीन टू सिक्सटीन ऑफ नवंबर टू अटेंड द जी ट्वेंटी समिट इन बाली इंडोनेशिया ड्यूरिंग द समिट जी ट्वेंटी लीडर्स डेलीबरेटेड अपॉन की इशूज ऑफ ग्लोबल कंसर्न अंडर द समिट थीम दैट इज रिकवर टूगेदर रिकवर स्ट्रॉगर at the closing session of summit indonesian president handed over the g20 presidency to pm modi indian army launches single window facility vsk for veer naris indian army has launched a single window facility virangna seva kendra vsk for the welfare and grievances redressal of veer naris which is in reference to army personnel's wives India has joined the Mangrove Alliance for Climate at the 27th session of the Conference of the Parties at Sharm el Sheikh in Egypt. It is an intergovernmental alliance that seeks to expand and hasten the progress towards conservation and restoration of mangrove ecosystem. India is among the first 5 countries to join this alliance including Australia, Japan, Spain and Sri Lanka. वाइस प्रेसिडेंट जगदीप धनकर विजिटेड कंबोडिया फ्रॉम इलेवेंथ टूल थर्टींथ नवंबर 2022 इन ऑर्डर टू अटेंड द एशियान इंडिया कमेमोरेटिव समिट एंड द सेवेंटीन ईस्ट एशिया समिट इट वाज़ द फर्स्ट फॉरेन विजिट ऑफ वाइस प्रेसिडेंट धनकर द ईयर 2022 मार्क्स द थर्टीएथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ एशियान इंडिया रिलेशन एंड इज बींग सेलिब्रेटेड एज एशियान इंडिया फ्रेंडशिप ईयर PM Modi to gift Himachal Pradesh artifact to the G20 leaders in Bali summit PM Modi will gift the local artifacts made in Himachal Pradesh to the world leaders at the upcoming G20 summit which will take place in Indonesia's capital city Bali Prime Minister also unveiled the logo theme and website for India's presidency of the G20 India's G20 logo juxtaposes planet earth with lotus and the theme is vasudhaiv kutumbakam the country is all set to assume the presidency of the grouping of the world's 20 largest economies on 1st of december 2022 noted writers madhu kankariya and dr madhav hada have been awarded the 31st and 32nd bihari puraskar respectively kankariya has been awarded for her 2018 novel hum yahan the while hada has been awarded for his 2015 book pacharang chola prahar sakhiri neeraj chopra signed up as friendship ambassador of switzerland Switzerland Tourism has appointed Olympic gold medalist Neeraj Chopra as its friendship ambassador to showcase and promote locations in the country to Indian travelers. Chopra has also donated his gold winning javelin to the Olympic Museum in Lausanne, Switzerland in September 2022. Mary Combs gloves as well as Dhyan Chand's hockey are also a part of the exhibits at the museum. Carlos Saura to be given Satyajit Ray Lifetime Award.
Spanish film director and writer Carlos Saura conferred with the Satyajit Ray Lifetime Achievement Award 2022 at the 53rd edition of the International Film Festival of India at Goa. Winners of National Sports Awards 2022 announced. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports on 14th of November announced the winners of National Sports Award 2022. The awardees will receive their awards from the President of India at Rashtrapati Bhavan on 30th November 2022. Major Dhyan Chand Khel Ratna Award 2022 was conferred to Achant Sharat Kamal in table tennis. Along with this, 25 sportsperson will receive Arjuna Awards for Outstanding Performance in Sports. Gaurav Divedi appointed as Prasar Bharti CEO. Senior IS Officer Gaurav Divedi has been appointed as the CEO that is Chief Executive Officer of Prasar Bharti. He is also a recipient of the Prime Minister's Award for Excellence in Administration. Kabaddi World Cup 2025 to be hosted by West Midlands in England. The Kabaddi World Cup will be held in West Midlands region of the United Kingdom and will be hosted out of Asia for the first time announced by the World Kabaddi Federation. New Zealand's Greg Barclay unanimously re-elected as the International Cricket Council chairman for the another two years. Slovenia elects first female president Natasa Pirk Musar. In Slovenia, Natasa Pirk Musar has been elected as the country's first female president. She has won almost 54% of the votes. India bags 8th position in Climate Change Performance Index 2023. India has moved two spots to the 8th rank in Climate Change Performance Index 2023. In 2022 and 2021, India stood at the 10th spot, while in 2022, it ranked 9th. Denmark and Sweden have topped the index respectively. India-US Joint Training Exercise Yuddha Bhyas 2 commence in November. The 18th edition of India-US Joint Training Exercise Yuddha Bhyas 2022 is scheduled to be conducted in Uttarakhand in November 2022, in which Indian Army soldiers from the Assam Regiment will be participating. The annual bilateral exercise will be conducted till December 2nd. Maricom elected as chairperson and Achanta Sharat Kamal as vice chairperson of Athletes Commission of Indian Olympic Association. Olympic medalist Maricom was unanimously elected as the chairperson of the Athletes Commission of Indian Olympic Association, while the table tennis legend Achanta Sharat Kamal was elected as the vice chairperson of the body. 26th edition of multinational maritime exercise Malabar culminates. The navies of India, Japan, Australia and the US concluded the 26th edition of the multinational maritime exercise called Malabar 2022 in the seas of Japan. The Indian Navy was represented by Eastern Fleet ships Shivalik and Kamorta. Arvind Virmani appointed as full-time member of Niti Ayog. Former Chief Economic Advisor Arvind Virmani has been appointed as the full-time member of Niti Aayog. Mr. Virmani served as the Chief Economic Advisor in the Finance Ministry from 2007 till 2009. The Government of Madhya Pradesh has implemented the Panchayat extension to scheduled areas that is called PISA Act in the state for preventing tribal population from exploitation. Phrygian Caps has been unveiled as the mascot for 2024 Paris Olympics and Paralympics. These red caps date back to the ancient times and were a symbol of the pursuit of liberty in the French Revolution. The Paralympic version of the mascot features a prosthetic leg. Paris Olympics will take place from 26th July to 11th of August 2024. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar has been invited by the Election Commission of Nepal as an international observer for the forthcoming elections to Nepal's House of Representatives and Provincial Assembly scheduled in Nepal on 20th November 2022. 
Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority has appointed Mr. Suraj Bhan as the chairman of the National Pension System Trust. Former bureaucrat C. V. Anand Bose on November 17, 2022 was appointed as the governor of West Bengal. ISRO successfully launches first ever private rocket from Sri Harikota. India's first ever private Vikram suborbital rocket was launched on 18th of November 2022 from the Satish Dhawan Space Research Center Sri Harikota. The rocket reached an altitude of 81.5 km with three payloads weighing a total of 83 kg. Param, the mission of rocket has the payloads from Space Kids India, Banzu, Armenia and N Space Tech India and are equipped with lot of sensors. Vice President Dhankar attended FIFA World Cup inauguration in Qatar. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar paid an official visit to Qatar on November 20 till 21 and represented India at the inauguration of the FIFA World Cup 2022. PM Modi inaugurated No Money for Terror Global Meet in New Delhi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the third No Money for Terror Ministerial Conference on Counter-Terrorism Financing in New Delhi on 18th of November 2022. PM Modi to inaugurate a month-long Kashi Tamil Sangamam in Varansi. Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi inaugurated a month-long Kashi Tamil Sangamam on 19th of November in Varansi. It is being organized as a part of Ajadi Ka Amrit Mohatsav. Sangamam is scheduled from 17th of November till 16th of December 2022. Uttarakhand High Court to be shifted to Haldwani from Nainital. The Uttarakhand High Court will be shifted from Nainital to Haldwani. This decision was taken in a cabinet meeting held under the chairmanship of Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami in Dehradun. The 53rd International Film Festival of India kicks off in Goa. The 53rd edition of International Film Festival of India kicked off with a grand opening ceremony in Panji, Goa on 20th of November 2022. This edition of film festival is showcasing a collection of 280 films from 79 countries. As many as 75 youths in the age group of 18 till 35 will get to attend the festival this year as special guests as part of the 75 Creative Minds of Tomorrow. Tamil Nadu introduces India's first Elephant Death Audit Framework. Tamil Nadu's Forest Department has introduced an Elephant Death Audit Framework for recording and monitoring elephant death in the state. Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama honored with Gandhi Mandela Award. The 14th Dalai Lama was conferred the Gandhi Mandela Award 2022 in Dharamshala's McLeod Ganj by Himachal Pradesh Governor Rajendra Vishwan Arlekar. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Sa launched a new portal Amar Sarkar to act as a bridge between the people and the government. The portal will help people to register their problems and complaints through village committee officials. Shah Jahanpur district of UP amongst Top ranked district on the Jal Jeevan mission. Shah Jahanpur has become number one in the country in giving maximum number of tap connections in a month. Under the Jal Jeevan mission, Shah Jahanpur has created history in providing tap connections to every household in rural areas. Thank you.